JavaScript. Lesson 2.2 .2, Variable Types. So before we proceed to our lesson, please open these applications MAMP or Apache Server, the Sublime Text Editor, Localhost 8888, the console, and also the folder htdocs. So let's have a quick review before we proceed to our next topic. Yesterday, we learned about numbers, booleans, strings, objects, and arrays. And we are going to focus on functions today. Functions. So in this example, we're using the same function from the previous chapter. As you can see, var say hi equals function alert hi. If we're creating a function like this, <coughs> var say hi, and then an anonymous function, function alert hi, that's why we need a semicolon at the end. As you can see, I have underlined it there. So that was just like saying var say hi equals function alert hi. That's equal to var say hi equals 5 or var say hi equals hi. So ex except instead of putting a number or a string, we're putting a function. This is one interesting thing about JavaScript. If you've done programming languages before and other languages, it might make you uncomfortable to know that functions can be passed around as variables like anything else can be. So let's give it a try. Uh, there are several languages where functions are a completely different kind of thing. They're not an object, nor there's something that you can store to a variable and treat just like any other variable. So if we're into it, let's give it a try. So go ahead, save Sublime, refresh the browser, and run in the console. So I have there say hi, and of course we can see there alert hi. It is a function. If you look at this actual object using dir say hi, you will be able to see you have a small triangle there. So we'll click on that one. We can see that this is also an object. If you scroll the, the scroll bar there at the bottom, the prototype is an object. So ultimately, what conclusion can we come up to? So we can say that objects are objects Arrays are objects, and functions are objects. So now objects are ultimately at their core. Things that can have keys, like I have underlined in green, and values like Fido are objects. So when the key is a value like Fido or 5 or 2, we call that a property. Okay, again, when the key is a value like Fido or 5 or 2, we call that a property. So my dog name is a property. You can see it in the console. And that's the name Fido. All right, when we have a key with a value which is a function, we call this methods. 
Okay, again, when we have a key with a value which is a function, we call these methods. So as you can see, as I have underlined there, my dog name Fido, my dog bark, and enter, then woof. That's called methods. Basically speaking, objects are things that can have properties or methods. So we can add custom methods into arrays or even to functions because at the very core, they are objects just like my dog variable. Now some <clears throat> of you might wonder, what about strings? Because we can do something with strings. Okay, take a look here. My name that to uppercase. So this looks suspiciously like a method, but because strings are primitives, like booleans and numbers, they are not supposed to have methods. Primitive are supposed to be raw, fast, <clears throat> and optimized values, not objects. So it turns out the JavaScript engine will actually convert primitives into objects whenever it needs to. So in here, if we type my name, it just sped out the primitive value. And while in here, it took that primitive to convert to a string object and then run this method on the string method. All right, let's have a quick review. The three different kinds of primitive values, we have strings, numbers, and booleans. We also have objects, arrays, and functions. At the core are actually objects. But arrays provide a very good interface for storing lists of things, and function provide ways of creating functionality. Of course, if we need to do something about primitives like my name, the string JavaScript will automatically convert that primitive value into an object and will give it the proper methods. So the six core variable types, we have covered all of them. We have numbers, booleans, strings, objects, arrays, and functions. So go ahead and get familiar with all of them. We'll be seeing with a lot of all six of them. Thank you.